I guess I gotta be careful uh, filming in the woods today. I'm not really sure exactly where these dudes are hanging out because I, I heard there's a new encampment. It was on the village bulletin board on Facebook that there's a new encampment of, uh, of Galantian workout program holders and there's... Well anyway, they, they set up camping in multiple areas, the parks and uh, forested areas, stuff that's just off the grid enough so that they can still... I hate to say this, it's, it's kind of morbid, but so they can still have access to to sources of food, you know, like uh, people that are hiking, people who are in the area. Some of them might be trolls on the channel. I don't, I don't know for sure, but uh, some of the people who are hiking around here, uh, you know, some of the victims are trolls on my channel. And I, you know, I don't really like having trolls on my channel, but but at the same time, I don't, I don't necessarily think they deserve to meet their fate in such a violent way, you know? So yeah, in the, the woods right now, we're, we're having some issues, but uh, I think this place is clear so far. But one thing that makes me nervous a little bit is, is the rock formations, because the only people strong enough to move rocks like this are some of these monsters who have used my programs. That's, that's the, anyway, I gotta, I gotta show you that, but so I'll show you. Train the muscles, not the joints. All right, are you gonna get focused this time? Do you think you can do it? Do you think you can do your freaking job? I'm only asking you to do one job here. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about leg pressing. Mountain. So somebody asked about leg presses and if they can get the epitome of development from doing the leg press exercise. going to be different leg presses some of them are at steeper angles and some of them are at shallower angles in the end it doesn't really matter but what does matter is that there are different seat positionings which may be right or wrong for you sometimes the leg press is adjustable but I've noticed that depending on where the sled is like the angle but also where the actual foot positioning is in comparison to the seat will also change what position that you are in or at least which person that that leg press will be more efficient for for recruiting more muscles right so that's why you'll see that you'll go into one gym and you'll use the leg press machine there and it feels great and then you go to another gym and you use the leg press machine there and then your knees are hurting or something doesn't feel right or it's not necessarily as efficient in stabilizing as much muscle as possible without giving you joint pain or tweaking things or you know that that sort of thing so just so you know not all leg presses are created equal for you uh, some of them may be really great but for each individual, they're gonna have different experiences. It's gonna be kind of subjective, right? So that's the neat part about free weights, is that free weights, you can adjust your form based on how your body naturally moves, where when you're in a machine, you're kind of dependent on how the engineers made the machine, and sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong for you, because we're all, you know, a little bit different, right? I'm 5'8", you might be seven feet tall, like who knows, right? And also the joint ratios are gonna be different for each person. Some people have really long femurs in comparison to their tibia, or vice versa, and that is also going to influence which machine's gonna be right for you. So. The one thing I'm going to answer about this with leg presses is going to be my own personal experience and then I'm going to share what I think 
to be true for most people. Now, when I did leg presses a long time ago, because I broke my hand in a couple bar fights a long time ago, and you know, this is when I was a young guy or whatever, 20s and stuff like that, and basically I was doing squats mostly and leg presses for my training at that time. And I noticed that when I started just leg pressing for a month because I couldn't do any squats or anything because I couldn't hold onto the bar, what I had to do was do leg presses. So I'd be on that leg press machine, you know, at least a few times a week or whatever. But the bottom line is that I noticed that my legs actually shrank from leg pressing. And I was like, wow, I thought leg presses would be good enough to at least maintain my gains, but it wasn't because first and foremost, if you watch how I squat, I'm dominantly a hip squatter where most of the muscle insertions and most of the power and everything comes from my hips. That's really where I focus on the exercises. A lot of the extension of the posterior chain, like the hips extend as I come up when I squat. So that's where I recruit more of my muscles, such as the hamstrings along with the adductors. And this plays a huge role in how big your overall legs are. Even if your quadriceps might be a little bit or maybe the same size from doing the leg press, you're not necessarily getting that hip extension sort of experience when you're doing the leg presses because there's no hip extension involved. You're kind of locked in a position. Now, some people, I believe, okay, this is my experience that I lost some size on the overall leg. Maybe my quadriceps stayed the same, but it felt like I lost a little bit of size. But one thing I'm going to mention is that some people's insertions are slightly different than others. So say you take your quadricep for instance and your insertion is a centimeter or two lower on the like past the kneecap than mine is maybe you will be able to um, deal with more knee over the toe movements maybe your knees are going to be more hardy with that type of exercise like a real quad dominant type pushing structure and maybe you'll be able to push primarily with the quads on the leg press as far as put your feet in a really low position and really get a lot of knee bend and then extend without any knee pain or any issues whatsoever you may get great quadricep results in that instance if this leg press works for you if you don't seem to get any sort of joint issues from it now for me when i'm training legs i need to make sure that the forces are playing out around the hips and the quadriceps are more assisting the process and that's where i found to get the best results and the least wear and tear on the joints but i have seen some people be very aggressive with the knees when they leg press and assuming that they were built for this it won't cause much knee problems and they'll be able to maintain a lot more quadricep mass or build more mass on the leg press because of this because they're not dominantly getting their results from moving around the hips as much as they are moving around the knees now do i think that this is the best possible scenario for most people as far as pushing off the toes or pushing off the middle of the foot and getting that knee to really come far over the toes or the ankles in order to get that quadricep development I think this could be dangerous for most people. I think it can irritate the knee quite a bit and cause some shearing forces. But again, I'm not everybody, so everybody's gonna be a little bit different. But in that case, I will say the quadricep will have a tendency to get more stimulus from the leg press from that. Now you can clearly see that these are, these are huge rocks. Like, and they're separate. They're, they're not all the same. They're not all part of the same. They're not all the same rock, but this rock looks like it has been placed here. I mean, this is this must be at least several tons. I mean, and this one here, I'm standing on right now. This one's been here for a while. It's got moss on it and stuff, but, and I mean, I don't, well, anyway, I mean, they, they might have been somewhere else and had moss on them before they even got dropped here. I don't know, but this is strange. I mean, look at the rock right here. Look at these ones. I mean, this, this is probably the children, probably the savage monster children that are moving these rocks. And I mean, I can't move these rocks. I don't even know what happened to these people. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're incorporating some organ meats in their diet. Unfortunately, I mean, I believe in eating organ meats, but just not necessarily organ meats of the trolls, you know? I mean, I think there's a safer, more grass-fed organic version of organ meats. I mean, ancestral supplements. I mean, that's, that's one suggestion I made before, but uh, these come from grass-fed organic cows, not not the trolls on my channel, you know what I'm saying? So now the overall leg, let's talk about that. The overall leg doesn't get as much stimulus from the leg press because like I said, it doesn't include the hip extension. So for this, you need to do the step ups, the lunges, the walking lunges, um, you know, maybe the belt squats, you know, anything that has to do with you bending over a bit and then extending that hip is going to include the posterior chain, which is the hamstrings and the glutes along with the quadriceps. So those types of exercises are really gonna make a big difference in your overall leg development. So do I think leg press could replace squats and stuff? Not necessarily for most people. And if you are replacing your squat movement with the leg press, then you're gonna to have to make sure you really concentrate on a lot of posterior chain type movements such as 
Romanian deadlifts or deadlifts or doing something to include that. You may have to offset that with some extra exercises that bring in the posterior chain and bring in the hip extension aspect of training legs. So yeah, maybe squats aren't for you. And I understand that sometimes squats just aren't working properly for some people. They cause a certain amount of stress in certain areas and maybe that's gonna be bad for people with certain injuries or conditions. So yeah, then I'd say, hey, do a lot of walking lunges, do a lot of uh, one-legged squats on the Smith machine or do a lot of uh, one-legged step ups. These types of exercises will help offset the lack of stimulation you're getting from the leg press in the posterior chain. And at the same time, you'll be able to really push those legs deep into failure from the leg press. Anyway, this, this is something that disturbs me a little bit. So this is why I'm kind of nervous here. Kind of want nervous. I'll, I'll show you some more stuff here. Just watch. I'll, I'll have to take you with me here. Just watch. Now look at this. This rock has been placed here too. This rock has clearly been placed here. Look at this. I don't know where it came from, but it's didn't grow out of the ground. I'm telling you, something put it there. Now this, this tree stump, I mean, it's been ripped right out of the ground. I don't, I don't know whether they're trying to build some sort of shelter or something here, but I mean, maybe this is, this might be a Galantian monster gym. I, I don't know. I mean, it's like, this might be what their gym looks like. I mean, I might be finding something. This might be a discovery. Might have to call Indiana Jones for this or forward this stuff off to a university or something and see if they can do some research on this for the anthropologists or something. But yeah, there's, there's a whole other society propping up from these dudes using my workout programs. And you can see that there's, there's rocks down there too. Rocks down there. And uh, yeah, these are all separate. I know, I, I know it's pretty hard to see in the camera as far as to find out exactly dimensions and everything, but these rocks are big. They're big. This is like, we could be seeing, you know, the beginnings of another Stonehenge here. Galantian Stonehenge. For you guys in the UK, I mean, I think you probably, probably have a greater understanding of the Stonehenge and everything. And yeah, this might be it. This might be the Galantian Canadian version of the Stonehenge caused by the barbarian monster troll leader tribe of people using the Galantian workout programs. I'm guessing it's a two day split, but it might be the three day split because I just came up with that three day split B program and maybe that's having an influence. I, I don't know. Look at the size of this rock. Look at this thing. I mean, this is not even, like this is not possible for most people to, to lift. I, like, could you lift that? I can't lift that. How in the hell are these guys getting such good results from my programs? I don't know. I'm guessing it might be organ meat. Maybe they're really incorporating the organ meat. Uh, I mean, I don't agree with their methods, but, but you can't deny the results, you know? Crazy. Anyway, this is the type of danger that I'm in here. See, see my bags here? Here, I'm setting up to actually do video, but this is, if I seem a bit nervous during my video, I mean, I'm looking over my shoulder all the time, just making sure that I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know when one of these guys, I don't know when one of these monsters is gonna pop out of the woods on me, you know what I'm saying? So this is the big advantage of doing leg presses is that you can push the legs into absolute oblivion. So you could really challenge those quadriceps without worrying that your lower back is gonna hit failure first or any other muscle group besides those quads, right? So that's where the leg press really shines. When you are using it as an extra or a supplement to your overall leg training, now you can stimulate those quads in a way that a lot of the other exercises just could not because there was just so many other muscle groups or, or, or maybe joints or whatever that are hitting failure before your quadriceps actually do, right? Squats, a classic example, your lower back muscles will hit failure a lot of times way before your actual quadriceps do. And of course you have to stop the set because if your muscles in your back aren't protecting the back and the joints there, you, you may risk a really serious injury. So you have to stop the set usually long before the quads hit absolute failure. Does leg press work? Yes, it does. Is it good for your training? Yes, but will it replace all leg exercises for quadriceps all together? I don't think so for most people. Uh, but yeah, if you're one of those people, then consider yourself lucky, man, because I'd love to be able to just leg press and get big legs. That'd be great. So yeah, I, I'm open to that if that's working for you. So thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters. And there I'm putting up some extra content, behind the scenes stuff and whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and take care for now. Mountain. And I think it's time to go.
Yeah, but the, 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 I'll see you guys later. Hopefully. All right.